Hello, friends. Yeah, there's my live. Hi. I wasn't sure my reception was in here. Hi. <laughs> I have um, stopped along the way on my way home to my studio. Oh, golly. Let's see. And I wanted to show you uh, a project that I started the other day, and I stopped because I wanted you guys to see, and I didn't have time to um, go live then. Um, like I said, I'm headed home. Uh, we finished the uh, brickwork, and we're letting it dry overnight. The German schmear, if you saw my video earlier. If not, scroll down one, and you'll see it. But what I wanted to show you guys is I have an old lampshade. So let me show, and I started painting this the other day, I told you. So it was all stained, where are they? There, see these stains? And they went all the way over here and they got worse. And so I started painting, I thought I'm gonna paint this thing and save it. It is the cutest lampshade in the nicest um, size. It's kind of a medium, it's kind of a big, I mean, there's my hand, so it's kind of a, a medium large size. Typically you find these, from little bedside tables that they used to have. And so I want to show you how easy it is to take it from, hmm, from that <laughs> to that and make it cute again. So I'm not painting the pom-poms. They are, um, oh, they're a little dirty, but they're not that bad. I, they're not that bad. Uh, whoops, oh, my camera's falling. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, it, yeah, they're not that bad. And so I feel like i um, just going to leave them. And I feel like fixing this is going to make me feel a lot, lot better. So all you have to do, this is why I'm showing you guys. I'm sure that somebody out there has one that they're, you know, want to pitch. Um, and I just want you to see that you don't have to. And this has even like the little fuzzy textures on it. I'm still going to paint it. So I'm just going to take a water bottle. Any water bottle is fine. And I'm just going to mist it. Now I'll tell you why I'm doing this. When I started the other day doing this, it was very thirsty and I was using a lot of paint to get this lampshade to cover. And so I don't wanna, I don't wanna work that hard. I don't wanna waste paint. So um, that's the trick. Spray a little water on it. This is our Country Chic chalk-based paint um, that we sell at the store. The color that I'm using is called Cheesecake. I use cheesecake quite a bit. It's, oh, let's see, how can you see me since it moved on me? Um, it, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just a nice antique cream color. Um, we, have a, we have several colors, some are lighter, some are darker, uh, but cheesecake is a nice one. Vanilla frosting is probably my favorite right now. It's got a little more white in it, um, but this one works really well and then the color is really good with the pom-poms on this one just kind of keeps that integrity of the vintage sort of feel so yeah I'm going with that so let me let me move where am I not wet oh I'm still damp for a little bit here so I'm gonna just keep going but I just want you guys look how easy it is and one coat one coat that's it one coat so you guys can save a lampshade oh I wish I I have another one here I am not an artist. I have um, Kelly Weilers here in town. She's awesome artist with Girl Up Cycled Studios. She's a friend of mine and I'm in her art class. However, I don't really have time to do as much as I did when she first started going. Um, but I love it. I know a few of you have joined just from me raving about it and that just makes me so happy. And I love seeing you guys in there when I'm in there. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I have a lampshade and it's new. It was a new one that they had like at Hobby Lobby or somewhere. I don't even know where. And it was on sale. It wouldn't have been Hobby Lobby. Maybe, I don't even know where, but it was maybe a clearance sale somewhere where I like, I've had it forever. And because I've had it forever, it was wrapped and, oh, there's Kelly. Hey girl, I'm not looking at the screen. So anyway, um, it's, it's still wrapped up, but the corners where the wrapping wasn't, it got kind of dirty. And um, it seems to me Kelly's done these before uh, where you added flowers to them. And so I thought, what if I, rather than just plain paint, a boring plain lampshade, maybe I should try my hand at some flowers. So one of these days coming up here, I am going to do that. So now I'm getting into where it's dry and where it's really dirty. Okay, but I, I don't know if you guys can see the drag of the 
No, you really can't tell. It's just something I can feel, but I feel it and I don't like it. So I'm gonna wet it and we're gonna make that stain go away. And I seriously thought, because the stain was worse on this part that I'd already painted, I thought for sure it was gonna bleed through and it might take me two or three coats of paint or whatever, but it did not. It did not, it did a great job covering and I was so happy. And I think I saved the cutest little lampshade from the trash. I had it in here for sale as it was, just because it was so unique. And then when we closed the shop, you know, I was kind of just re, um, I don't know, re-evaluating everything in here and thought, I think I'm gonna try and save this. And I did, and look how cute. So there you go, I'm sliding down again. <laughs> This is a this is an extra um, Archon mount that I had uh, at home. I just set it up, so I just don't have everything tight. Um, I won it actually with my Chalk Couture sales. Um, oops, I missed a spot. So yeah, so I thought, how nice to bring that in here to the studio, and then if I'm doing something really exciting, I can share it with you guys without having a great big um, a great big old uh, tripod. So anyway, as it dried, it looks to me like it's soaked in and left the little fuzzy dots a little darker. That's just how it dried. So this has been painted already. I ought to just go over it, but well, I really don't need to. It's already been painted. I'm not going to. So anyway, that's all you do, you guys. You just paint it. What are you saying? Yes, it's like chenille. You're exactly right, Kelly. It is exactly like chenille. And I don't think I'm losing that by painting it. I think I'm saving it. So there you go. It's a little spotty because one side was dry and one side wasn't. So I was kind of overlapping. But anyway, I think, I think I've saved it and this little baby might have to go home. I might have to switch out one at home. But let me show you the one I'm going to do. It's just right here. Hang on. Here it is. So one of these days, you're gonna find me doing this one. <clears throat> I loved it because it was a different shape. I can't remember how I got it either. Maybe it came in on a lamp that was damaged and they discredited me. I'm not exactly sure. Hi, Nancy, I'm good today, thank you. How are you? How is everybody? Let me know where you're watching from. You guys, it's been, I was hitting these um, videos really hard and then I kind of, had life happen and kind of just got out of it. And, and then it's been really hard to get back in for some reason into the groove. And I feel like what I'm doing isn't that thrilling. And then I look back and it's like, I love that. So I've uh, been very close to my little crafting group. And so those girls are getting all of me actually in there. So I'm sorry, but I gotta come back and see you guys because you're missing. I see all these things we're making and I think how much you guys are missing. So I need to come back here and show you guys how well, what cool things we do. So anyway, I'm trying to get back, I'm trying. So, but yeah, I'm excited about painting this, um, this lampshade, but see, it got just from being around, um, I don't know, it's just not fresh and wonderful. Where did I see? The, yeah, there's some, there's a little bit of dirt here in this corner and right here, here. See, it's just, see that? Yeah, we can't have that. So, and I don't just want to plain paint it. I think this, because of the shape, I think this would be a fun one to do. So, <coughs> anyway, that's all I have. I've been, um, let me show you, let me show you around here if I can move the stand a little bit. Show you all my lampshades I've been doing. We're working on a class lineup. Um, the store is only open, let's see here, how can I do this on the stand? But I have there, let me get you up here. And let me see, how can I do this? take you back here here we go I'm <laughs> I'm way down here <laughs> so like I've been making all of these awesome lampshades and centering them on a work table here that seats eight people and so we're going to be doing some craft nights and you'll have all of these pretty uh, shades hanging over your head and every one of them is a little different um, let me see here. How can I, I need my, I need my stick, my selfie stick. So this one has keys hanging from it, um, with rag, like rag ties. 
Uh, this one is the same idea. Let's see, can you see that? It's way up there. I'm not sure you can see that one. But the shade was done a little differently, so I did every other panel and then hung. Can you see them? Yep, and then I hung the keys out of the bottom of that. And then, like, uh, let's see, can you see that one? I turned it upside down and then did the ring and then the bottom ring. Oh, I wish I could reach the bottom ring, I tied more to hang, and then I hung little um, prisms out of that one. This this one, I have two kind of like this, and I just think that is just adorable. I made two of those. Um, I don't know, they're all different. You guys are just gonna have to come in and take a class. You can see I have a bunch of chalk couture lined up. I'm ready to start doing some projects uh, on my own while we're closed so that, um, you guys can oh, you guys can see that again oh i didn't know which way i was anyway you guys can see the chalk couture again we have been doing so well with chalk couture and i really haven't even been showing you guys it's been our team and the girls on the team so i want to show you that um i want to do that again i think you guys know i had my craft room set up in my dining room and it was so it was almost overwhelming in there. The room was kind of small. I mean, it was a nice size room, but I had it so full and it was really hard to breathe. And I love having this big table and it's not like a nice dining room table. And um, with the store closed, we open on Fridays for little walk-in projects. Um, we're at 19 East Main Street and we are here just on Fridays, 11 to four. And you can come in and make little, um, we're doing paper flowers. Uh, two types of paper flowers, one on a stem, one that you put a magnet on the back for your fridge. We do um, the little, little burlap pockets and you could pick through old pages and you make these little pockets that hang. Um, what else? Oh, the mason jar, decorating some mason jars. You can do that. Um, there's something else. Oh, and there's another paper flower, a coffee filter flower. Um, everything's like five, two to five dollars, depends on what you want to make. And then we're decorating gift bags too. So um, that's something just for Friday, you come in and hang out, you know, or you can bring maybe like a piece of, uh, like a, a drawer front or a cabinet door or um, maybe a project you're having trouble with. Nothing too big because we don't have a lot of room. It'd have to be kind of you know, tabletop, uh, something that would sit in the passenger seat of your car or on your lap or something like that. We, I mean, if we're not, if no one's in here, like if we're not having um, any scheduled classes, which we would never do that on a Friday, um, maybe we'll do a painting class. I don't know. I don't know what you guys want. And I, so I'm just kind of taking it uh, gently a little bit, but I want to get back into doing all the Chuck Couture projects. My goodness, there's so many things. So I'm excited about that. And I'll show you all that on another video. They don't like us to cross talk. So I can't really talk about that, but I will when I come back. Um, yeah, I'm trying, Dee Dee. I'm trying to get back in the groove of it. <laughs> I, you know, when you get out, it's hard to get back in. I don't know why. And I don't really know why I got out. It just got busy and I don't know so anyway I'm gonna try coming back so yeah I have a lot of um, things to share in my downtime and in the craft group we have made so many things and so I thought I would bring some in here for classes for local people that might not be in the group or that don't want to do you know every month the classes in here cost a little more than the classes online and the classes online you get all of them and they're $15 a month and you get whatever projects I do that month plus all of the other ones I've done. It's such a great deal. Um, but if you want to come in here for a class, we'd love to see you. So it'll be fun to hang out. Um, no set time frame. No, um, I. You know, I am. I'm too busy with our painting crews. We've got three different jobs running. I showed you one I was on this morning, and then with real estate, I have things like that. And I just know the minute I schedule something, you know, and say every Tuesday at, you know, 10 o'clock, I'm going to be on, I won't be able to live up to it. And then I'll be on here apologizing. Sorry. And I just don't, the stress of trying to make sure I'm there. I just, I just kind of want to be a freewheeler. And that's how it is in the class. The girls, they don't know when I'm coming on. I, if it's something that I'm making, a lot of the things I make for them, I make to inspire them. 
And so um, I use a lot of our vintage items. And so um, it's more for them. They can go out and find and either buy reproduction stuff at, at the craft stores or they can hit a little antique shops and see what they can find. Um, or dig in their mom's treasures or grandma's treasures or whatever. Um, and then uh, if I have a project that is something like that I bought at Amazon that I thought was really cute, and we're just going to put a twist on it, then I'll give them the, you know, the link or a little heads up to if you want to see what I'm going to do, you know, this is where I got it. And so um, that's kind of how I run the group. So I may do um, a little bit of that with you guys. I don't know. I just... I'm just ready to come back and say, hey, because I've been doing, uh, because, not cause, because I've been doing a lot of uh, crafting kind of by myself and with the girls in the group. And when I'm with the girls in the group, I just feel like I'm not by myself. <laughs> so it's nice to have someone to talk to, even though I am actually talking to myself. I know there's people out there. I see you. So <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go. I'm going to clean up my paint. I got to get home. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so I'm yeah, I'm ready to go home, clean up. So that's all. That's all I got. I just wanted to show you my lampshade and what a difference. And even if you have a stained one and it's a special shape or something and and you've it's getting old and yucky, freshen it up with some paint, spritz it with a little water and use some chalk based paint. Um, we sell it here. Kelly sells it at her shop. There's lots of places you can find it. You can get it. You can get it at craft stores and I think even like hardware stores have something like it. I know that like designer stores like this carry a much uh, better grade. I can I can say that it's probably why it's more expensive. Um, is and you would know the difference if you tr if you tried both. I think they both work fine, but I think it might be less coats with a nicer one. Um, we sure love our paint, and um, I made the neatest board. You guys want to see? Um, I, well, I put it in my pictures. Hang on, let me show you. Oh, I always pick up my phone on the backwards way than what how I normally. Oops, I lost you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I gotta go this way. Did I lose you again? Okay. Oh, <laughs> see, I'm out of practice. I'm so out of practice. Okay. <laughs> so sorry let me flip you there we go that's much better <laughs> so here look at this so this is our color board and <laughs> let me see here yeah it's big it's really really big there's like I think there's 35 colors on there and I had to paint it all I had when the board came it was all raw wood all the colors were raw wood so yeah I had a lot of painting but yeah that's it there's our country chic uh paint sign and then this is our colors and then we have like little oh i was going to do a project with this we have little uh um popsicle sticks you can take home and then oh here let's see i'll go over here and then i have like a, a box full of brushes so you can look and really get a feel for what the color is up close um <clears throat> but yeah let me show you my lampshades from a distance this might be better i well, got my i got my stand in the way but there you go. There you go. Aren't they pretty? They're all different. They're all, all, all different. Every, I mean, let, I take that back. This one that I did upside down and this one are the same. There you can tell. Those were in the center. But pretty much, um, pretty much they're all a little different. So, and I've got them all throughout. I just tried to maybe unify, I guess, the coloring a little bit and go all uh, the cream colored um, muslin. And that's what they all are, summer prisms. Some have the keys. I did a really neat one. You guys remember I told you that my little dog passed away and I was just so, oh my gosh, really, really, oh. And this is what I, this was my, uh, sadness came out <laughs> and I made this lampshade. I tied a thousand knots. I tied all of these, they're keys. I'm not sure you guys, there, you can tell. They're all keys and they're on this, um, it was just a ring. Let's see if you can see up inside. Yeah, see, it's just a, it's just a ring. And so I just started tying from the top and everything is just hanging. Like it's all just hanging. And yeah, that was, um, that was my my Lola lampshade. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> anyway, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so fun to have this place and, and it's going to be great. There's, like I said, I've got these big tables with all sorts of uh, projects laid out. So I am excited to get in here. Uh, excited to get in here and get going and I'm excited to get you guys in here with me. So anyway, I just know I'm working on it. I've been working on it. It just takes, you know, when you do everything by yourself, it takes a while. So anyway, it's nice to see you guys. Um, yes, it's more studio. I just have to remember to call it a studio because I keep calling it shop. I'm not open like a shop anymore. So <laughs> anyway, um, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And if you have a lampshade that needs painted, don't be afraid to paint it. Just use a little water. It really helps save paint. See ya. Bye.